been quite some time since I have picked up the camera and talked. I figured I would just pick up the camera today and catch up with you and um, show you some things that are new around here. And yeah, it's going to be raining and gross. I figured today would be the perfect day to catch you guys up on some things. We just have the normal things around here, just homeschool and cleaning. I'm getting it, sweetheart. Um, I'm currently making my kids a little fruit platter. Um, I need to order groceries today and I'm going to be filming a grocery haul. Um, that'll be in a different video, but I have to do that today as well on top of homeschool and cleaning and things like that. Um, so yeah, we got a busy day ahead of us. My husband's going to be home earlier today, which is exciting. Um, so we'll get to see him for a little bit. So yeah, um, what else? What else is new around here? That's pretty much it. My life is not very exciting. It's like the same thing over and over and over again. And that, I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of like backed off of vlogging because it was getting really redundant for me. And I felt like it was getting that way for you too because I literally wake up and I do the same thing every every day. I wake up and I clean, I do homeschool, I do the mom thing, I do the um, housewife thing. I just, sometimes the life of a stay-at-home mom is not very exciting and that's okay. I enjoy it. I enjoy being a stay-at-home mom most of the time, if you know, you know. But yeah, for the most part, I do like being a stay-at-home mom and I do like being here with my kids. You know, obviously there are hard moments, but. So this morning um, I got up, I've been trying to get up at six o'clock every morning to get some work done because that's really the only time I have during the day to get any editing done. Just some other things that I'm working on that are launching soon. Um, but this morning my alarm went off at six o'clock and I got up and I heard little footsteps coming down the hall. And it was my youngest and I was like, oh my gosh, if she gets up right now, she's going to be a beast. So I was like, okay, baby, come on. It's too early for you to wake up. Let's go lay back down in bed. So we did that and I set my alarm for 630 because if I didn't lay down with her, she wasn't going to fall back asleep. So I laid down with her and she fell asleep right as my 630 alarm was going off. So then we just got up. So my youngest has been up since 630. So that should be interesting. Um, but I did get a, a little bit of work done at least this morning. Um, so at least that worked out. Um, but I like that time to myself to just get as much work done as I can uninterrupted and not feel guilty about, you know, not paying attention to my kids. So that's why I like to get up that early and just get it done. So, um, my daughter ate a little bit of a snack while I got some work done this morning. Here girls, here's your fruit. I made them blueberries, some mandarin oranges, and apples. What is that? Piece of an orange. Come on, come get your fruits. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Here baby. Do you want peanut butter too? You want peanut butter with your apples? Okay, I guess they want some old boy. Don't drop that. Oh my goodness, come here, give me that. All right, crisis averted. <laughs> my kid's got some peanut butter now. Goodness gracious, this thing is a mess. What happened to this? There's peanut butter all over it. All right, now that my kids are content and over there eating their fruit, it is so cute. Um, I need to get my kitchen cleaned up because I also need to film another video today. So I need to get that done. I'm just working on my shake. Um, I'm, I'm not really doing the um, 30 days of healthy living anymore. I'm just sort of drinking the shakes in the morning because it's super easy for me to just grab and drink. It's healthy. It has, all, it has a ton of vitamins and minerals in it. Super good for me. So that's why I drink them in the morning um, because normally I wouldn't eat until like two o'clock, which is really bad.
you're down in my rec room right now. Um, this is gonna be our homeschool corner. Um, our table is gonna be here for the kids to sit here and then the whiteboard be up here um, along with like a little chalkboard as well. Um, there'll be two chairs here and then a chair on the other side of the table for me. Um, we're gonna have the homeschool cabinet right in the corner. Um, maybe like a little shelf or something over here. We're gonna put a plate on that. Um, this basement is just really unfinished right now, um, but the kids are never down here alone anyway. So I'm always, they're always chaperoned down here. As you can hear, they're currently jumping on the trampoline down here. But yeah, I'm really super excited. We're gonna be um, covering the walls with some really thick paper that my husband has access to. Um, so all of this will be covered. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna put some, um, like educational posters and things like that down here. And I'm super, super excited about it. There's gonna be a rug. There used to be carpet. That's why there's um, like tack strips along the side. But I think that'll come in handy whenever I put a rug over here. So it'll keep the rug from sliding around. did so well in school today um, if you're new here we do homeschool that's why I'm doing the homeschool nook downstairs um, but yeah we did we did reading through the summer uh, we finished math science and social studies um, as the um, as last school year ended but we decided to continue reading through the summer because um, we did start that curriculum a little bit later in the year just because I was trying to figure out what worked for us the best so we're almost done with that reading curriculum, just in time to start the new one um, this fall. I'm so excited for this school year. Um, I do need to get a planner for um, homeschool because I'm gonna be doing homeschool with my youngest who is gonna be in preschool and my oldest who um, is in going to be in first grade. So um, yeah, it's crazy. It's gonna definitely be an experience homeschooling two kids at the same time. And that's why I wanted just an area just for homeschool. So that way um, homeschooling two children would be a little bit easier than just doing it on the kitchen table. So um, now that that is done, um, what am I gonna do now? What do I gotta do here? Um, I need to water my plants. What I might do while I wait for the mail lady to come because I sold something on Poshmark and I'm waiting for the mail lady to come so I can run out and give her the box. <laughs> I've done it before and she's taken it so hopefully she takes this time too. I thought I heard the mail lady. <laughs> um, I have a whole bunch of stuff on my Poshmark that I'm currently selling and I sold a book bag so that has to go out in the mail. Hopefully I catch the mail lady today to send it out so I don't have to go all the way to the post office and she can just take it for me. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. You look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like. You're smiling, but there's something missing in your eyes. Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know With a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine But I can tell that you have something on your mind right now But I will make you forget all your sorrows
about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. We are all about the We went outside and waited for the mail man. It was a man this time. Normally we have a woman, but anyway. Went outside and waited for the mailman to come and I ran that Poshmark package out to him. He was real sweet. Sometimes like they get kind of like cranky whenever you try to give them packages like that, like face to face because the box was too big to fit in my mailbox. Normally I just throw the package in there and then like lift up the little flag. But I actually had to like give it to him because it wouldn't fit in the mailbox. So um, we went outside, it was perfect timing because he drove up and I was like, do you mind taking this for me? He's like, no, not at all. So it was really nice of him to take that for me. And then we went around back and played for a while. Um, then my youngest, I think she needs a nap because she got up so early this morning. Lately, my youngest has been going to bed at like seven and waking up at like six <laughs> and it has me all thrown off, she's all thrown off, and I think she's getting tired and wants a nap, and I think that's why she wanted to come inside and get a popsicle and watch Groot. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get her on a better sleep schedule. So that's why I need another cup of coffee. So my husband is on his way home now, and I'm really excited to see him. Last week was a long week. I think what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and sit down for a little bit and do a little bit of editing while I wait for him to come home. It is way later on in the day now. Um, I My husband came home from work. Okay. My groceries came in the mail. I filled my grocery haul and now I'm about to start cooking dinner. I'm going to make spinach and artichoke dip and buffalo chicken dip. Um, one of them, I can't remember, one of them I make in the Instapot and the other one make, I make in the oven. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start making that and now I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm gonna start with the spinach and artichoke dip. Uh, first, so you're gonna need shredded Parmesan cheese, shredded mozzarella, baby spinach, mayonnaise, artichoke hearts, sour cream, and cream cheese. Basically, you're just gonna measure it all out, and put it into a bowl, and mix it up. For my kids for dinner, I'm just gonna give them some of this Annie's um, shells and real aged cheddar macaroni. I have that going over there and I'll probably give them some fruit as well.
So I want to show you a little update on my plants. This is my fiddle. Um, it literally had like three leaves before I brought it back to life. I thought it was a goner there for a little while, um, but it has a ton of new leaves on it. Um, it has one under here, right there. Um, these two are new leaves from the last time I updated you. Um, it has a couple new leaves under here. So yeah, I need to dust and it right off. Here. Yep, and right there. Yep, there's gonna be a new one. This is my Monstera plant. It loves it right here in this window. Um, the last time I updated you, I showed you the stick that I put in it. I think I might have to um, do something else with it, but that works for now. I have a new leaf right here. This one's unraveling. This leaf right here is new. Um, what other one is new? My oldest child just found it, and we have a new one coming in right here as well. watered my plants earlier and then I took my kids outside to play and I remembered that I never ended the video from yesterday. So yesterday after um, I showed you guys dinner, I didn't pick up the camera at all because we just sort of um, spent time with the family in the evening. Um, we hadn't seen my husband and my kids hadn't seen their dad um, very much last week. So we just sort of spent the evening together as a family and it was so nice too. Um, so that's why I didn't pick up the camera at all. Um, and then, yeah, this morning I got up and watered my plants, like as you guys saw. Then we went outside for just a little bit. Um, and now my kids are eating popsicles and we're about to do some schoolwork. Um, and I realized that I didn't pick up the camera at all. And I had intentions to finish the vlog today. So, um, I figured I would just pop on here and end the video really quickly. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. Um, I'd love to get to know you and connect with you. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for being here. Your guys' support truly really means so much to me. Um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.